supporters of Palestinians battled police once again at Emory. As Atlanta News reporter Valencia Jones shows us, activists are condemning the university's response and law enforcement's use of force. Let them go! Let them go! The aftershocks of Thursday morning's pro-Palestine demonstrations at Emory University still felt today. Why are you doing this? Those demonstrations turned violent during clashes with police. The college confirmed police arrested 28 people. 20 of them, including professors, are from Emory. As an Emory alum, I never thought I'd see tear gas, never thought I'd hear uh, rubber bullets, never thought I'd see students being tased by law enforcement. At no point should law enforcement have responded with that use of force, especially for the prep professors and the student that was handcuffed with his hands behind his back and being caged. The Georgia Department of Public Safety said in a statement that student resisted arrest. It also says no tear gas was used, but said it did deploy pepper balls. It all stems from the Israel-Hamas war, which has resulted in thousands of civilian deaths, including children. Palestine supporters are blaming Israel for the ongoing war. Pro-Palestinian students have organized protests at colleges across the country and in Georgia, demanding the institutions cut ties with companies connected to Israel. Georgia NAACP President Gerald Griggs calls the response from law enforcement an abuse of power. Emory President Gregory Finvis issued a statement Friday morning saying in part, I am saddened by what took place at Emory yesterday. To watch these highly organized outside protesters arrive on campus in vans, construct an encampment, and overtake the quad just days after it was vandalized with hateful and threatening messages was deeply disturbing. Finvis also said they were working with law enforcement to help expedite the release of their arrested community members. Griggs issued this letter to Emory's president, demanding a meeting to discuss the university's response to what he called peaceful protest. You should be calling law enforcement. Law enforcement should not be weaponizing and using tactics like the Georgia State Patrol. He also questions why the state patrol was not wearing body cameras. The Georgia NAACP says it plans to talk to Emory first before considering any legal action. They've also heard from other civil rights organizations ready to advocate for those who were detained. We look forward to speaking with their legal counsel about any sort of action they may be taking. Valencia Jones, Atlanta Now News.